Hey guys, this is Ray Wet Phone Reno. We're here at MWC 2015, checking out the new Samsung Galaxy S6. And guess what? We have a new comparison for you. It's between the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy Note 4. So Samsung's uh, latest tablet versus Samsung's uh, newest device, newest flagship smartphone, the Galaxy S6. So let's get right into it. Now, let's take a good look at the differences in the design of these guys. So first off, we have a smooth glass uh, front for the Galaxy S6, it's built with Gorilla Glass 4. Meanwhile, we also have tempered Gorilla Glass technology for the Galaxy Note, which also has that uh, 2.5D glass here. As you can see, it's slightly, slightly curved here around the sides. Now, uh, this similar uh, tech isn't really uh, obvious, that obvious with the Galaxy S6. I think there's just a very, very tiny curve here at the, at the borders, but I'm not really sure about it. It's mostly a flat phone. The backside is also flat. It also has Gorilla Glass uh, 4, whereas the Note 4 isn't really that ambitious in its design with its, uh, uh, you know, soft, um, matte plastic here on the back side and it also has that interesting uh, leather texture here so all of these things are gone with uh, galaxy s6 and it also boasts a brand new metal frame here surrounding the whole um, of the device which also makes holding the phone very very convenient and uh, the phone really feels uh, very expensive uh, the Galaxy Note uh, 4 also has a metal frame here surrounding the sides of the device, but it's not really that good, at least in my opinion. It also has these strange curves here around the edges, which kind of, you know, make it a bit more unrefined. Now, the screens are uh, as different as they are similar, you know, they're both um, they're both Super AMOLED displays, uh, obviously the one in the S6 is going to be uh, considerably smaller at 5.1 inches and the Note 4 at 5.7 inches. Now uh, resolution wise both are actually equal, both are QHD displays, uh, but uh, obviously that means that pixel density is going to be uh, slightly higher here on the Galaxy S6 due to its more screen diagonal. Both are extremely uh, easy to read, extremely dense screens. Obviously the S6 is going to be a bit more, a bit denser with its screen, but uh, then again maybe the bigger screen is actually going to help uh, better regi uh, legibility. So there you have it. Both are extremely high quality Super AMOLED screens. Hopefully, uh, well the, the Galaxy Note 4 already boasted some very, very um, color accurate um, Im uh, image quality uh, and hopefully this is going to be true for the Galaxy S6 as well uh, and hopefully it's uh, going to be even better. Now, other than that, uh, let's take a look at the back sides of the phones. Uh, with the Galaxy S6 we have 16 megapixel camera, the Note 4 pretty much the same, it also has 16 megapixel camera and now both devices have smart optical image stabilization, improving um, image and video stability when taking pictures with the phones. Uh, in terms of uh, silicon under the hood, uh, Samsung has chosen a slightly different path from before. It has that latest, newest uh, Exynos uh, chipset which uh, has a 64-bit architecture and it's also built on the uh, brand new uh, 40 nanometer um, uh, manufacturing process. The, uh, the Galaxy Note 4 sticks to a, mostly to a Snapdragon 805 which is a great chip obviously but uh, hopefully the one in the uh, S6 is going to be even faster and then uh, you can find this guy in some markets with the next you know soft core chipset as well um, by the way the S6 is also an octa-core um, chipset so 
the software that's running here, it's uh, Lollipop on both devices, and they both have a very, very new versions of TouchWiz. The one on the Galaxy S6, as you can probably notice, is, has been slightly renovated here from, from that of the Note 4. Uh, for example, here the contact application is really uh, more of a square, um, more of a square, whereas with the Galaxy S6, it has some more rounded corners, so, uh, and, and that's true for most of the apps here. So, I guess that comes to show that Samsung has been indeed working on its software, and it also promises a simplified menu structure. Uh, you know, less clutter, less options uh, always in your face. As you can see, it's been cleaning things up uh, as as much as you can, as much as you can. Uh, but uh, yeah, most of the uh, most of the features are still going to be present in the Galaxy S6. They'll just be uh, a bit more hidden. They will not be that. Uh, so much in the way. So there we have it, the new TouchWiz here on the Galaxy S6. If you'd like to learn more about these two devices and especially the new Galaxy S6, just check us out at phonearena.com.